Studying at the renowned University of Otago while living in a university quarter famous the world over, these students might be seen as some of the lucky ones. But spend a moment talking to them about their lives and they will tell a very different tale. Pretty bad. I mean, it's not even winter yet. And we're all worried to wear uh, like long pants and, yeah, you can see your breath and blankets. The rent that you pay um, for where you, is, I know you don't live here, but yeah. rent, you do think it's fair? Um, for... Oh, it's definitely gone up and up each year and the houses aren't getting any better, which is definitely unfair. <laughs> that transition into the workforce where you might have those internships or clerkships, things like that where you're not getting paid over summer. Um, yeah, it's kind of restrictive on that. Last week, the South Today covered the release of a report by the New Zealand Union of Students Association decrying the low paying student allowances and parental earning threshold that has been static since 2011. Because your parents earn over the threshold, you can't get the extra money. So. Again, it is assuming that their parents are going, your parents are going to pay you, but they just don't. But if you're on an allowance, you can get 215. If you're just on the loan, you can get 176. But why can't I get the $40 just because my parents earn over a, you know, the threshold? I worked three jobs over summer. One of those was 12-hour shifts. The other one was uh, five-day weeks, and then just an other jobs just to fill in the gaps. I had pretty like mild asthma before I came down here. Now it's, <laughs> yeah. now it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not horrible, but it's pretty bad. Like, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was in hospital and stuff, and that just all started off with a cough, and then living in a flat, and it just got worse and worse. Misconceptions also extend to the view that all students are eligible for full entitlements. That's not the case with these students. Leaving them, they say, barely able to afford to eat. And then Roselle Lebone, The South Today. The people who can get the